adding text to speech to Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial. Welcome to Microsoft Word 2007. You may have noticed that I suck. Many of the awesome features included in Microsoft Word 2003 have been removed because my developers are morons. One of these awesome features that have been removed is my ability to speak. That's right there is no text-to-speech option included in Word 2007. This tutorial will show you how to put text-to-speech back into Word 2007. Who is this tutorial for? This tutorial is for users who have a basic understanding of Microsoft Office, including what is the macro and what the Quick Access Toolbar is in Office 2007. If you do not understand what a macro or quick access toolbar are then you should first watch a tutorial on Office 2007. What do you need to follow this tutorial? Well the most obvious is Microsoft Office 2007 Word. Also you will need Visual Basic which may have been included in your version of Office 2007. You will also need Microsoft Ease of Access Tool Narrator. This tool comes standard on Windows Exp Windows Vista, and Windows 7. Finally, you will need Patience and Common Sense. There are two main methods to adding features to Office 2007 that do not already exist. Many features exist in Office that most people do not realize, but text-to-speech is not one of them for Word though it does already exist in Excel if you know where to find it. The first method of adding features that are not native is that in text-to-speech can also be added to Office 2007 by means of add-in. This tutorial will cover the second method of adding non-native features to Office 2007 which is macros. The basic method for creating new macros is the record macro button located in the ribbon in the View tab, in the Macros group and under the Macro drop-down menu. This method is used to do batch operations, or repeated operations to many different documents. The more advanced method to creating new macros is to use Microsoft Visual Basic do not get this software confused with Microsoft Visual Studio No, they are similar in many ways. To access Microsoft Visual Basic from Word 2007, have Word as your active window. Hold Alt and press F11. This can also be accessed by the Visual Basic button in the Developer tab on the ribbon. The Developer tab on the ribbon is not displayed by default. Within Visual Basic you will see the Project Explorer toolbar dodged on the left by default. Explore to Normal, Module, and then Module 1. If Module 1 does not exist right click on Normal and click Insert then Module. Module 1 may be open by default. If it is not double click on this file to open it. Copy and paste the text provided in the description of this video. Once you have done so close module 1, it may prompt you to save the document. Make sure you do so. Now we will need to include the reference to the Microsoft Speech Library in our macro. To do so go to the Tools drop down menu within the menu bar. Then click References scroll down until you find Microsoft Speech Object Library and check it. Once you have checked it it will move to the top of the list. Now close Visual Basic making sure you click yes if prompted to save anything. To access the macros we have just created go to the view tab within the ribbon. Within the macros group click the macros button. Three new macros will have appeared. Pause text to speech, start text to speech, and stop text to speech. Test each macro to make sure we have successfully added text-to-speech to Microsoft Word 2007. If text is highlighted, the highlighted text should be spoken by your default voice of Microsoft Narrator. If no text is selected, Narrator should start speaking your whole document. To give you easy access to these three new macros, add them to the Quick Access Toolbar of Microsoft Word. 
To do so, drop down the arrow next to the Quick Access Toolbar, and select More Commands. This dialog can also be accessed by pressing the Microsoft Office button, clicking Word Options and then selecting the Customize tab on the left of the pop-up dialog. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Choose Commands from field whose default value is Popular Commands. Select Macros. Now click the Add button to add the macros to the Quick Access Toolbar. Because the Quick Access Toolbar only shows icons and all three of our macros have the macro icon we will be unable to distinguish between these three new items. Select each new item one at a time and select Modify. Now choose a new icon for each item we have added to the Quick Access Toolbar. I personally use the green circle for the speak text macro, the yellow circle for the pause speaking macro, and the red circle for the stop speaking macro. Thank you for watching this tutorial on adding text to speech to Microsoft Word 2007. I hope your project was successful. Feel free to post comments or questions and rate my video. Also subscribe to my channel to see other tutorials that I should be posting soon.